Friends, welcome to my workplace for hands-on FACO and SICS training. This is an edited video. The nucleus management part is in real speed, other parts in two times normal speed. This is to shorten the length of the video. The surgery took 12 minutes. It has been edited to less than 9 minutes. So after making the incisions, the anti-capsule has been stained with tripan blue dye. Now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. I do not use any high cost viscoelastic substance. In India, SPMC that is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is very economical. It can be used and the surgery cost can be reduced quite a bit if we learn to manage surgeries with this viscoelastic substance. Of course, there are some situations where we should use combination of chondroitin sulphate and sodium hyaluronate, but most of the cases say 99% surgeries can be managed with this viscoelastic substance that is SPMC. This is an intumescent cataract and under the white cover, there is a hard nucleus. We can see the brown tinge of the nucleus by this time. So after making a small rexis and decompressing the nucleus, that is reducing the intralenticular pressure, we are enlarging the rexis. A small neck has been made and now the small rexis is being enlarged to an optimum size rexis of about 5.5 millimeter. When the nucleus is brown, hard, nuclear sclerosis is grade 4 or above, we should do a large rexis. Otherwise, there will be in genular stress, nucleus management will be difficult in many aspects which we don't know. Uh, that's why to make the nucleus management easy, and for the safety of the patient, we should make a large rexis. Now we are observing the nucleus management part in a real speed. After aspirating some superficial cortical lens matter, the handpiece goes in, the, this is submarine chop, the phaco tip goes through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator and as it crosses the hardest part and reaches near the opposite equator, it stops and the chopper is used to get a nice crack. The nucleus is rotated 180 degree and the nucleus is completely divided into two heminuclei. Then each heminucleus is subdivided in the same way. The tip goes through the substance of the nucleus, crosses the hardest part, reaches near the equator but not at the soft part, just crosses the hard part and stops there and then the chopper is used to crank the nucleus. In this case, we have got two free fragments of this heminucleus but the other heminucleus we have not. So, since we have got two free fragments, we are emulsifying this. Ultrasonic energy is 80% in continuous mode, yes in continuous mode, but I use the ultrasonic energy intermittently. Whenever the ultrasonic energy is needed, it is used intermittently and only for a fraction of a second or few seconds. Then a rest, a gap is taken. Ultrasonic energy is being used now and now the nuclear fragment is being emulsified. At this time we have to take care of the uh, stability of the anterior chamber. We have to keep an eye how the posterior capsule is behaving. And now I find that it is difficult to rotate this heminucleus and it will be difficult to manage this heminucleus because the 
two fragments are not free. Inject some SPMC and take two hooks. This is a Sinsky hook and the other hook is a modified Sinsky hook which is known as Mohanta chopper. It is blunt on all sides, it goes behind and the bond between the two fragment is torn and now one piece the apex projects into the anterior chamber and now it is safe to emulsify the piece whose apex is projecting into the anterior chamber. The other piece is down and it protects the posterior capsule. And this surgery is being observed by my student from Senegal, Mohamed Ache. It's a very obedient, very keen uh, learner and I am sure he will be a great surgeon one day, not very far, maybe in one or two years he will be an uh, excellent surgeon. Now we uh, are managing the last beat of the nucleus. At this time we have to be extremely slow, we have to reduce the parameters. At this time the vacuum is 300 and flow rate is 30 and earlier part the vacuum was 450 and flow rate was 45. And see at this time I am managing the hard nucleus and the epinucleus is remaining. And now the epinucleus is being emulsified with very low vacuum and I am keeping an eye on the posterior capsule. This surgery is possible by any keen surgeon, but you have to manage lot of things. On has to develop a third eye. Lord Shiva has a third eye through which he can see the universe. Like that, you have to develop an eye to manage the situation in such a way that the patient is safe. Okay, we have managed the nucleus and now we are going to finish the case. At this time, the um, surgery is in two times normal speed. After cortical cleanup, the nucleus has been implanted. This is a hydrophobic monofocal intraocular lens. It has been implanted in the capsular bag. The side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration. And a final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time, any visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium is removed. The anterior chamber is nicely formed. And few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.